let's begin open python ide click on new program now program begin with the def def is a keyword in python used to define a function see it is a place before a function name def square x here x is a parameter and return statement is used to exit a function square and go back to the place from where it was called we called it here with parameter a here we called square with parameter a as function return x into x and we store this variable or this value in variable r now I have to save my program with any name with any location in any location uh, you can took uh, you can take any name now see the output here a is 10 passed to the x and the value is return x into x means 100 Here function square return value x into x. We call square a and result store in r. We can call this within print function also. Look. Here the value x into x directly print in call place. We forgot to save. Don't worry python will take care of it. Look. Now see the result, same 100. So this is a, another method to call a function uh, when a function return a value. Now we can change this function to void type, means function returns nothing replace return statement with print now see call statement still in print means expecting something to be returned see the output here the function is void type void function do not return a value but they return a legal empty value in python that is none means every void function should return none to its caller look at the screen print x into x results 100 and print square a print none because square, square returns none Now we can correct this, uh, we can call void function like this. Now see the result, it is 100. Unlike other programming languages like C, C++, Python lets you return more than one value from a function. Look, we take three variable a, b, c having value 5, 8, 10. We pass three parameters a, b, c in function square. We also take three parameters here value of x into x, y into y and z into z return. That means three values will return. All three values store in variable r. So three values in one variable, little bit surprising, but 
python treat or as a tuple look at the result here r is tuple with index value 0 1 2 now we print r1 this is 64 r 0 25 and r1 is 100 we can store all three values return values to a separate variable like uh, p q r p q r all three are the separate variables print p q r same result 25 64 and 100 but in separate variables hope you like my video subscribe my channel watch another video of functions to continuity in the series thank you